would you like to know how to make this from this this from this continue watching okay so we're gonna start in your favorite painting 2d software mine is paint 3d no just kidding but just wanted to show you that you can use pretty much anything this it's not important and I recommend to start with the black and mask out with white the things you want to have in, in your 3D. So I'm just going to make this simple profile. Like this. Alright. Perfect. Now let's create some simple geometry. And let's put in a trace top and this is where all the magic happens just put in your your picture and there you have it done okay so needs a little bit little bit more details so we're gonna start to rotating it because remember always rotate your model so that sides point to x and you can lower the sample settings we don't need that high geometry in this case. Right, awesome. You can refine your your mesh, make it more dense, or do whatever. For me, I'm just gonna use simple triangulate, and now we can extrude it. So we get some thickness and don't forget to output the back. Alright, looks good. Now let's add some shaders to make it look more interesting. Let's add some lights in our scene, plug in some HDRI, change the background to dark. Alright, now con let's continue by centering this this piece I want to sit it I want it to have sit on, on the ground so I'll use the uh, game dev tools the axis align and after that we can translate it again and then we can mirror it so we have it on both sides let's use creating context to create our bench like uh, our base for for the wood planks Position it. Now let's lower the rows and columns to two and let's extrude this side. Yeah. Let's create our base shape. Right, and now we need to add more divisions so we get like more planks and I want I want to do it a, a little bit procedurally so uh, I'm trying to group the side edges so I can use uh, divide edges by Paul Gerskin I really like this one because the default uh, Houdini one doesn't work great in a lot of situations in this case it, it worked well but a lot of the time it happens it doesn't work good at all so that's why i like to use uh, this one and you can get it for for free from or bold all right and now we'll use uh, in the fillet shape none so we can we get these holes which represent our planks now and if we extrude it let's not forget to output the back if we extrude it we get these planks but I would like to have a bigger gap between the, the bottom and the side so I'm just gonna uh, add um, a poly bevel before the actual edge connection so I get an edge before that 
and now now the other poly bevel would serve as as our plank divider. Right, perfect. Extrude it. Don't forget to output the back. Don't forget it. Yeah, perfect. And there you have it. Your simple little bench. Just taking shape. Now let's add some more details. Let's refine the the proportions. Very nice. And now if you would like to change the shape, just paint it in. Add as many details as you like. And then just resave your image and reload it into Houdini and use make some changes so they appear. And if you would like to have uh, holes in your shape, just stick the whole faces. Now we can resample it a bit, get a more smooth shape. All right, it's looking great. And we can refine it furthermore by adding some bevels to our planks and to our sides. So let's just fiddle around with the distance. And we also need to add some normals or refine our normals so by face, face area and some small angle. We can duplicate it and paste it on our sides. Check the ignore flat edges and make uh, the value, the flatness angle a bit higher. I think that's it. Nothing more to do. We have our perfect little bench. And now we can change the plank divisions and do whatever, change the shape. You're free to experiment. Okay, and with a little bit of patience and some more refinement, you can get to a result like this. So it uses the same techniques that I showed you before. It, uh, I just spend more time on, on the sides, painting the, the side map. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one.